Welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of the On Purpose Podcast. It is the final edition of 2023, the end of year four, which I cannot believe we've been showing up every Thursday for four years. We're going to be thinking about this. The podcast in March is going to be old enough to go to kindergarten. That blows my mind away. I want to just thank you all because I couldn't do it without you showing up each and every week and, and just giving us this space in your life to share ideas and thoughts and, you know, perceptions of what, 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 what the world is facing at that moment, what our lives are at that day. But then here's what I really love is you guys also give us the grace to pivot and not just be stuck in, okay, we had a decision or a, an idea or a thought. 20 years ago, and that has to be the only decision that you can't move forward. And, and that that's huge to me, right? And that's huge. That's what we want to create for people is knowing that we can make decisions and the act of making decisions is always going to put in a ripple effect to move us somewhere. But it doesn't mean every decision is permanent. And that's what I want to talk to you about this week as we close out year four and we get ready to do our top episodes of the year re-release for, for December so, so our team can have the month of December off for the holidays. I wanted to close with one to get you thinking as we go into the new year. And that is the myth of decision permanence. The myth of decision permanence. And over the last few weeks, I've had to take several deep breaths and just really... And conversations I've had with people because we've been out traveling again now, running into people that, that we've met before, meet new people. And one of the things that's really struck me is the weight people are putting on their lives and uh, the heaviness they're putting on the day-to-day -day life. And I just thought, man, what is going on? So some things that have come up, like in conversations, should I take a trip? Should I not take a trip? Should I quit my job to pursue this passion while I'm young? I feel like I can do it as more aligned with my beliefs. Should I travel more? Should I travel less? Should I settle down? Should I not settle down and continue to explore? Like when I, when I hear people talking about that, and we're having these conversations, all those choices are options. And that's one of the things I always wanted my kids to understand is that when you have options, you're in a good position. If you, if you have to make a choice because you have no options, then we've made a mistake somewhere. We got to learn and pivot. But when I hear people saying, like, can I quit my job to travel? That, that's abundance, right? That, that's an opportunity. Should I leave my job to pursue my passion? That, that's a short window in life that we get to do stuff like that. And, and I thought there would be more enjoyment in these conversations and more just light coming from people like, oh, my God, I, I might quit my job and just go do this crazy thing. Like the energy, the, the experience of doing that, you're going to learn something. But when I was talking to them, the, the process of deciding wasn't from the abundance mindset. It felt heavy. It felt like it was burdensome and almost, almost like, and it might be easier if someone else could decide for me resignation to the process, which is actually their life. As I've been in these conversations, I've been listening and watching each of them, watching, paying attention to the words they're choosing, the body language they exhibit. And, and I saw something in common. I saw something like a trend that I was like, man, this seems to keep coming up. Maybe I should talk about this. And that's that they were being weighed down by thinking every decision they make is permanent. Right? The myth of decision permanence. That if I make this decision, I can never make a different decision because I made this one today. I forever have to do this. I can't go back. And I think about it and I start reflecting on how many times in my past life years ago, the same kind of paralysis would show up where people would talk about leaving their job to go travel, but they were so afraid they wouldn't have enough money in retirement, they passed up on it. They wanted to take longer vacations to enjoy their family, to really decompress, to see the sights, but they were so afraid of what was going to pile up at their desk, they didn't do it. Right? They were so afraid and so resigned to the fact that every decision they made was permanent. Like for me, when I decide to leave 
my career at 46 years old, that's in the prime point of when your life experience, your educational experience, your job experience all meet and you're set to make the most money that you've made through your career, right? Your earning potential like doubles at that look, 10 win 10 year window in your life. But I knew by leaving, I was going to forego that. I was going to forget, forego some extra financial security, but I wanted something different. But I also knew this. I also knew and believed that it didn't have to be permanent. If I left law enforcement and after a couple years, a couple months, five years, I was like, man, I really miss being part of this. I could go back. Just like people making these decisions and these conversations we're having recently. If you decide to leave your job to travel, you can always apply again. You can go get a similar job at a different company, a new location. You can combine travel and work, right? Because here's the deal. If they hired me with just college and life experience at 24 years old, well, I'm pretty sure I'm a better candidate with 20 years of job experience, college, and life experience. So I didn't put that weight that, oh my God, if I make this decision, everything has to be perfect. Everything has to work out just as I thought or I, or I can't go back. No. And I made a decision to go try something new. And by not accepting that permanence, not saying every decision is permanent, I'm also allowing myself that even though I made that decision to walk away and I thought I was going to have a life doing this, this, and this, when new opportunities come up, I'm open, I'm flexible to see them. I'm not so fixated on making what I thought happen that I don't see another opportunity to pivot a little bit. And it's, it's that that I want people to understand is don't put so much weight on every decision. Enjoy the opportunity to make decisions. Like that's what we work for. That's an option. And then allow yourself the grace and, and the, the idea that you're always growing. So a decision that Jared right now, this Jared that you're talking to right now in this episode has this thought process. But in January, a whole month from now, I have a whole new set of life experiences that's happened. I've traveled, I've, like, whatever I've done, I may have a different opinion and that's okay because that Jared's experience are different than just Jared's experience. And I want you guys to get to a point in your life where you allow that to this moment you is going to be different than the moment you leave. In 10 minutes from now, that moment's different. That's you different. And it's okay to pivot and to change and have different thoughts and ideas and want to do different things. And realize very few things in life are permanent. Having kids, permanent. Killing somebody, permanent. I have a hard time finding it much more permanent than that. I'm sure I'm missing some obvious ones, but my little pea brain that I've already told you isn't super well adapted at many, other, many things other than just believing in myself. I don't see much else as permanent. Right? If you, if you took that mindset, if you allowed yourself to say, man, I just want to experiment. I want to be curious. I want to make this decision based on what I know right now. And then I'm going to give myself grace that if it doesn't work out or there's a better decision or I'm just going to navigate a little bit differently tomorrow, that's perfect. It doesn't mean you're a hypocrite. It doesn't mean you turned your back on something. It doesn't mean you quit. It means you're allowing yourself to flow. And for me, the best part of my life is when I quit trying to dictate everything and quit trying to make decisions. Okay, this is my permanent course of action. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And I just said, no, I want to be in this space. And however it shows up to me, I'm going to flow in that space because I'm always meeting new people. You're meeting new people. You're experiencing new things. You're having new ideas. You're having new successes, new failures, new ups and downs, highs and lows, bursts and deaths. It's, it's crazy to think that you're going to try to make a decision right now that's going to be the exact same decision for you 10 years from now, 20 years from now, next week, because you're different. So when we approach it like that, then I see their, their eyes light up. I see, I see the spark in the idea of going, wait a second, why am I so worried about making a decision on taking a vacation? I earn vacation. I work to have vacation. Vacation is a time of joy. I should be feeling blessed that I have these options to take vacation. Because nothing has to be permanent. 
right? That life, it, life is short. And as I get older, it seems like it goes quicker and it's shorter. And I was watching this documentary with Andrea on Netflix the other day and Morgan Freeman, some kind of planet of our planet Earth or something. And it's talking about like 400 billion years ago, certain things were happening. And in my mind, I'm like, how the hell do we know? Like, I don't understand how you even know 400 billion years ago because I can barely remember last week. But I'm glad there's people that are smarter than that, smarter than me that do that. But the big thing I think about is like, oh man, like different animals were here 400 million years ago. I, I'm barely here. What's the average life expectancy nowadays? Like 72? I get 72 years on a planet that's been around for billions. I, I, I'm not that important. Every decision I make isn't that important in the spectrum of life that I have to weigh it so heavily that I don't enjoy the opportunity it provides me. Right? So let's get rid of this myth that every decision we make is permanent. Very few are. And free up life to be more fun, free up decision making to be more fun, more energetic, more happiness. So I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope you enjoyed your four with us, man. We had some amazing guests, some fantastic conversations. Things are 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 doing exactly what we hope they would do in the podcast. And that is we're we're becoming one of the most impactful podcasts in the world. And we're just sharing purposeful stories of life, missions, love, happiness, success, failures. It's all here. It all leads to our purpose in the world. And ours is to become one of the most impactful podcasts in the world. And we can't do it without you. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you take this next month as we get ready to go into a brand new year to lighten up your life. To decide to put less weight on all your decisions. Allow yourself the space to grow and change and do it with some fun and enjoyment and light that is the blessing of living this amazing life. See y'all next year.